Hello everybody, I'm Big Tick, also known as Keegan, and welcome back to Vanilla City Skylines. You can see here a building being built right next to Lazaret Plaza. Also off in the background you can see a few other statues and, and other things like that. And if we turn the camera around, you can just see here a bit of an archway which is the new section we built in the last episode right which is this section here which has loads of people milling around we've got a mall we've got a plaza of the official park we've got some just standard commercial stuff going on but yeah we've got we've got a little area we basically went through and placed in a whole bunch of unique buildings. We, we placed in everything from level 1, almost everything from level 2, a couple level 3s, and finally we have reached Colossal City 44,000 population. I mean, normally I would hate things for interrupting me while I'm explaining stuff, but that one, that one's okay. We'll, we'll let that slide. Uh, and so, yeah, no, that, that's fantastic. I did promise that I would purchase a new plot of land and it was going to be this one. So let's go ahead and purchase that or do we want this one? Ah, because I'm going to be building a, uh, a dam. That one looks like it could be kind of good for dam building. But then I don't really feel like expanding out that way. I do feel like expanding out this way with sort of industrial and the like. So let's go ahead, we'll purchase this for 16,000, which at this point is peanuts. Uh, and we're gonna go right to the edge here. Uh, we'll go into power and we will build a lovely we. I'll move it down just a wee bit, uh, a bit of a hydro dam. Space already occupied by what? Oh, sunken boat. Uh, we'll get rid of that, we'll get rid of that. I'll leave the rocks there. I don't particularly mind the rocks being there. I mean, they're not they're not my favorite thing in the world, but, you know, they'll do. Zero mi What? Really? Is it just not wide enough or something? Is that... Is that what's going on here, game? Maybe it's time... I do some terrain modification. Let's let's do this. Let's bring everything back just a wee bit. Okay, soil repository is full, full, so I need to go and place some somewhere else, which is fine because what I'll do is I'll come through and I'll I'll raise the sides of the bank here so that when I place in my dam it doesn't flood quite so much because dams flood right they, they do so if I can yeah if I can bring the level of the terrain down on the sides here and raise it on the back we'll be good then when we hit play and speed up and the water does its thing, and it moves around, and it sloshes, and it whooshes, and it gets a bit weird. Things get funky. Fantastic. Now, if I build this, if I build this here now, 32 megawatts. No, come on. Come on. Play nice, game. Play nice. 96 megawatts. Now we're talking. 112. Okay, let's, 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 let's go terrain, lower, strength, three. Oh, too much soil. Uh, do, 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 Let's plonk in a bunch of soil back here. Bring some of that back. And then we'll pull out some soil from here. To lower it, and it'll plonk it up on the banks here, like so. Ba -ba -ba, ba -ba -ba. Just like this. 
pull this back just a wee bit. There we go. Pull the ground all the way back. Because essentially what I want to do is lower, is have a massive difference between water levels. Because if you remember me talking in the last episode, that's what causes good power output. Alright, so we need... Oh, there we go. That, that would let me do it. But, 128. I mean, that's, that's pretty, pretty decent. The nuclear power plant, however, 640. But I want to do this just because I feel like it's something I need to do. So 144. I'm going to go ahead and build it. Like there. Fantastic. Then, realize that this better not suck up all my water. Um, we are going to grab a road. I'm going to grab a standard road. And we're going to curve it. It's going to meander its way down into here. There we go. We're going to grab a power line. Oops. We'll grab a... No. A power line. There we go. And run it all the way down like so. Like this. Into here. Go ahead. Hit play. And watch the magic happen. So there we go. Now this will sort of back up into it. And that's why I raise the banks a bit here. Uh, because I, I anticipated the flooding. I don't know if I anticipated it enough. Considering it is starting to go out a bit here. And here. But I anticipated it. Which is, you know, what really matters. Now eventually the water level is going to lower. But I'm hoping it's not going to be bad enough that we'll run out of water. I'll find out, uh, because everyone will start complaining about a lack of water at some point. Now it is also starting to flood along here, which isn't ideal, to say the least. Uh, so we might just have to sort of raise up a bit of a, a bank here. <laughs> Something like that. Which is going to stop the flow of water, push it back a bit. We'll do the same here. We'll just push up our banks. Just a wee bit like this. I just don't want to flood my city. That's all. A little bit of water. That should evaporate in time. And with any luck, it'll spread out back there a bit. That's what I'm hoping anyway. Uh, but that is... Yeah, it's going good. So our power is now just about fine. Just about fine. Of course, I do now have access to a nuclear power plant, right, which, to be honest, is probably the better idea, but I do want to place it, like, here. So, I feel it is time to expand on Meadow Industrial. So, let's go ahead and bring this down. Down like this, bring it across. And we're going to do a different uh, pattern here of roads. And we're going to have a few more gaps as well. Though we might do a few across like so. But I just want to leave a few more gaps. I just don't want it to be so as gridlocky as it was over there. Uh, and I will bring in a few more connections into Dumsville as well. That way, you know, there are more chances for people to, to get in traffic won't be so bad uh, because traffic is absolutely shocking it really is uh, through meadow industrial so it would be nice to get some new sections i also want to get a new highway interchange like in here sort of thing something like this and then another one here. like we we just need we just need more ways in really is is what i'm trying to say um, but what I could do is, like, I'd love a, th <laughs> what I need really is a three-way interchange here, but I've done way too much work here to have that actually function, so I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do. We'll have to come back to that, that's fine. Uh, but what am, what I was doing was uh, 
power is connected up there, so let's get rid of this power line. We'll grab our nuclear power plant. And we're going to plop it down there. Boom. Still not under a million pounds or whatever it is. Euros, dollars, currency, things. We'll also connect up there uh, and we'll add in... We'll add in a bit of low density commercial along here, just not for any particular reason, just because I feel like it, and to act as sort of a buffer between this and this section, and just just adds to things, you know? It adds a bit of spice into the area. Uh, it will, I don't know, man, I don't know. Uh, I'm also gonna add in a bunch of pipes, like so. Make sure everyone is nicely watered. Bang. Fantastic. That should set our power plant working. Nuclear power plant, which means our power level is fine. Our water availability could be better, however. So, let's go ahead and grab a couple more of these. We'll connect them up like so. I just want another connection. Not for any particular reason, just because I feel like it. Uh, and here comes the wave. This, this is the wave of lower water level but as you can see everything did sort of equalize we made a bit of a floodplain up here um, but it is producing 144 megawatts of power and we still have enough water that maybe we don't no no we don't uh let's let's move these to somewhere else we have access to water up here let's move them all right i feel like that's just going to be a better idea in general so let's go ahead and plop them up here all of them because i, I want a river there and if i'm completely sucking up all the water i'm not going to be happy if i click the button i will be happy though uh, and I'm going to spread these out a bit just so we're not pumping all the water out of one location. That is something I tend to do is sort of just suck it all up from one area and you end up with no water. And that's clearly the issue we've been running into uh, over, you know, where these originally were. So let's just connect this all up like this and connect into the main power, power line, water line. Uh, these will need their own electricity so i'm going to give them their own little bank of wind turbines here like that so they each get their own wind turbine and i really wish i had something to connect them with other than this those ones are connected which is fine that one's now connected there we go and those four should be more than enough to power all of that so that's water availability bumped up enough yeah, that, that should be that should be plenty for now. Sewerage, oh, we we should be fine. I might go ahead and place another one on this side and connect it up to the power line. Sorry, the I did it again. The water line. Uh, there we go. How much power do you actually need? That's a good question. You are a sewage. You require. Uh, 480 kilowatts. So, one of these at 5 megawatts is actually enough to power you. Which is really good. Really handy, that. How are we doing over here? You're not growing. Probably because your land value isn't that good. So, maybe you guys can get the first sort of couple big towers because... That is obviously what I want for this section. I want I want nice big towers. So where can I fit you? Let's let's fit you in there. Uh, you're not really going to fit in anywhere, but I, I'll place you there just to up the land value that wee bit more. Uh, you, you're fucking massive. Um, I don't really know what to do with you, colossal order officers, courthouse. Again, huge. Courthouse is going to go... I think the courthouse is going to go in here. Right there. Boom. Uh, and the Grand Mall is going to go on the other side. I reckon. 
or just just there fantastic and colossal order officers you can also go in the corner there fantastic that's all the level threes done uh just gonna pause the game because we are gonna run out of uh you know i want to connect all these up to the power that's what i'm trying to say the opera house is gonna go down on the tippy tip of the island here fantastic i just i just like the way that looks uh maybe if you look out this way and maybe if you hide the sewage anyway <laughs> i'm gonna place it there because i can uh and also it helps with all this stuff the oppression the oppression office wow um is yeah i don't know i don't know if i really want it anywhere i can't think of anywhere like it looks kind of cool but i just don't know where i'll put it i mean i could just put it right here just bang it in that's fine i don't i don't care uh, this is going to go here. So I'm just going to bulldoze this road. And I'm going to turn it into a straight section. Like that. So I can place the observatory. Boom. On the edge. So it's looking out. I mean, it, it's looking the wrong way. I was hoping it would look up this way. But it's out sort of, it's out here on the tip. And I, I like that. Moving along to the next section. Section number four. Five servicing officers, the science center. Shit, that's a big one. Um, place that in there. Servicing officers can go there. The high interest tower can go there. The aquarium, the aquarium can go. Hmm, where can the aquarium go? Outside of city limits, unfortunately. Uh, that that could work. That's kind of a waste, though. I don't know. I, li I like there. Uh, the expo center will put up this side of town. We'll put in that little square there. That's level five done. That's everything done so far. Uh, the only thing is level six, and these guys are massive, which is just what I want for the center of town here. I don't know if you can tell, but the, the center section of town here is kind of going to be the, the big section. And then you're sort of getting smaller as we spread out from around it. Or at least that's what I have in my mind anyway. Uh, this fella... I don't know where that's going to go. I might have to leave that. The stadium... The stadium is actually going to go more down this end of town. We'll go there. And then... Finally, finally, I'm out of money. Whew. All right. Uh, let's, let's connect a bunch of power. Let's do it with housing and stuff like that. So we'll put a bunch of high density housing in here. Uh, and we'll also put some offices through this section. And hopefully that will connect this line. Right, so once we connect that line, that'll sort of probably spread out to this section, and we should be fine and dandy. A lot of people are moving out. Why are you all moving out? Why are why are these dead people not being collected? Is also another good question. Plonk one down there. Collect the dead bodies. Move in. People move in. That's connected power, which is good little bit of power connection over here. I just need, I just need a connection down the center here. Uh, and in fact, because I really want it, we're going to do that. Connecting up there like so, all of that gets connected with power, uh, which means everyone is a little bit happier. This whole center section here is going to be commercial around all of this uh just like that power someone someone connect high density office someone someone connect in because once this gets connected sort of everything will start to get joined in 
Uh, this is going to get joint in like that, which is going to give us power there. Power there. I'm impatient, so here we go. Power. Power for the masses. Uh, build over to roughly there. And that should power that one. And that should be everybody powered. The only thing left to do is put in uh, a police station to cover everything. And in fact, we're going to put two in. Uh, and then, wow, again, finally out of money. Uh, but I will place one of these in in a sec. But that is going to be it for this episode. Running this one a little bit long because I was enjoying placing in all of those buildings. So guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please smash that like button. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.